Good day and welcome back to Elementary 72 Gaming. <clears throat> now, before I get into this episode, I've been building up quite a bit towards the upgrade of my base. And you know what? A few things are obvious. I was farming up a ton of stone, so I definitely have upgraded the base to stone. But as I said, I'm, I'm hoping for you guys to say it's a waste of time for what I did. So let's turn around and have a look at the base. As you can see from here, you can see the big bonfire in the base. It's obviously been moved slightly. So yeah, that's the big signal to say that the base is there as you start rendering it in. And as you start getting closer, I'm hoping to just show you this mammoth of a base. Now this base is in no way small. It is exactly the internal radius. That means wall to wall is about 15, no, not 15, 5 plus 5 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1, yeah, 15, 15 squares across now that it's stone. Previously, it used to be 14 squares across because of the fact that it was <coughs> uh, wood. Now, stone occupies a lot of extra space. You're going to see exactly what I mean. I haven't changed the dimensions of the base. To accommodate this upgrade so a lot of things are a little bit underwhelming okay so here we are and as you can see the entire base has been upgraded let's see if I'm carrying everything on me no I'm not okay so everything has been upgraded I've pushed the space quite a bit more as you can see things are quite uh, squashy in here I need to actually eat if I'm gonna go into that room, but I'm not gonna go in right now. And this is the cooking room, still quite barren and empty. As I go through the levels, I'm suspecting there's more items for cooking. So yeah, that's definitely going to improve it. And heading down, there is the empty room and the room for crafting. So let's just open it. Now this room is meant for someone to stay in, to be honest. As you can see, it's barren. And there we go, someone can actually stay in this room. It would be perfect, it would be the only person with a window view out of the house. And you may not have a view at all. So yeah, there's it. So if somebody else joins, there is this room as an option for them to jump in and stay in there. Now, another thing to note is this base is coming with me when the server goes. So the moment I kill the final boss, there is one more thing that I'm doing on the server and that is I'm killing every single boss one after the other, hopefully in a single video. If I can't do it in a single video, it will be two back-to-back -back videos. I'm, I'm suspecting that I should be able to kill all of them within one video. I'm suspecting it will take me about 10 minutes to kill the last boss, about 2 minutes to kill Muda or Mother, mother. <coughs> sorry. Then it will take me around five minutes to kill bone mass, two minutes for the elder, and a minute for um, Eric Ikir. Ikir, uh, can't even pronounce the name properly. But anyway, here we go, let me just move up. Oh wait, I didn't show you the crafting room. Yeah, so, so the crafting room really, really booms with the stone aspect. Now, Considering that this used to be wooden, this is absolutely... <coughs> I, I feel the space more in stone. <coughs> Sorry. And the next iteration... <coughs> so sorry about that. Just need to drink something. Ugh. <clears throat> okay so the next iteration of this base is actually going to have an extended roof <clears throat> so at current it's one and a half stories high and it's more than enough i can jump up and down within it it's, you know it's comfortable enough that will take me to where i am right now i actually have to start uh, <clears throat> organizing my portals and then naming all of them so this portal up here on the top is Elder and Forge. On the other side is meant to be Bone Mass and Trader. 
right now bone mass takes me to my exploration base and trader takes me to a random base which isn't what i intended for it and at the bottom the four which are they are unnamed because they just meant for the extension so in the end at the top over here it's actually going to change from forge to ichthyr then alga then bone mass then muda and at the bottom will be exploration trader and final boss <coughs> so that's the whole plan for the portal now let's take you to the storage room the storage room obviously i expanded it before the upgrade as you can see i haven't taken out the wood behind it on the walls here now i don't want to take out the wood i actually like this room st sticking in the half and half format the other rooms aren't going to stick half and half uh, i'm actually going to change them all to full stone this room is going to have a bonfire in it again i i like the bonfire being in here and the way that i set the chairs around it so i'm going to put it back in here and i'm actually going to ra uh, uh, run around with a chair in every single slot so hopefully that will be a total of about let's see one two five plus eight eight chairs all around this big bonfire in the center that's the end goal for this year so the council of eight <coughs> okay so as you can see everything is stone inside i'm, I'm not yet even done with the base exploration to show you now here's Havex room. Obviously in the past it was all labeled on the side. Uh, he had a, li uh, a little... Um... Oh. So you were my death. You look so small and soft. Tell Odin he may have broken... He may have broken the world... He may have broken this form but the world will never yield to him. Okay, right. Got it. Actually, I've, I've read it multiple times. Um... He says, uh, you look so soft, no, no, you, you look so weak, could have broken you like a twig, uh, let the great tree have me. Now this is Havex's room and he has his awesome trophies all over the place. His leech trophy on the wall here, his elder on that side, his um, reindeer, a troll head, I actually just told him with a troll head when he first set up. Is sea serpent, which is awesome. <coughs> so yeah, that's what's in this room. And now my room. Now my room isn't that much of an upgrade. All the rooms are going to be bare like this. I expect everybody to be in a bare room. And as you can see, there's my two trophies sitting on the wall. How the just above my bed. Now. They weren't really meant to be overwhelming like this here. I actually intend to put another elder on this side. And then when I do all five, I, I, I intend to go one, two, three, four, and five. And all of them will be on this side. And the side walls will have all the other trophies from everything else in the game. That is how I intend to end it just before I finish off. And then I'm actually going to break down the entire castle, put all of the material into boxes, transport it over to Havex server, and I will set up this again on another spot on his server, completely made for this particular castle. So this castle is leaving the server when I leave. Now, let's show you the Pistera Resistance, the top of the tower. <coughs> Now, the defendability of your castle is your key aspect, your, your greatest weapon or your greatest downfall. As you can see, it is nice and maneuverable. It can be lit up to give you quite a bit of extra light up here. There's heat, so you're not going to run down with the coal. It has a comfort level of 8 to 4. As you can see, quite high. the side is seven okay I'm shocked about that the side is three no two 
look did I just burn myself? Oh no I didn't. But nonetheless, yeah, that's the inner side. So the second thing that you can do with my fortress, which is uh, just the result of the stone, is you can actually run along the edge of the building and defend it like this. So as you can see, I did that intentionally. <coughs> I haven't removed all of the pieces of the old base. As you can see, I've, I have some items still on the bottom. I actually still have to complete some parts of the roof. I intend to add some dragons on it just for ornamental sake. So four dragons will be put on. They will be overlooking the front and the back. <coughs> the base handles against the swamp uh, level. Little thing of blood and bone. I should have snapped you like a twig. Now I was and die. Let the great tree have me. That is the elder boss. He's a sore loser. So anyway, here's the top view. I, I know these bases aren't like the most incredible things ever. But let's just have a quick look at it from one of the nice views. I did zoom out already. And I intend to do this. This base is is definitely something that took a lot out of me. It took me two days to build, uh, regardless of how much of work went into it. It was actually died like that twice before. So let me just do this. Perfect symmetry is what I wanted to have up here on top, but it's a little bit off. Mm. I like the way that it sits. I like the way that it stands out from the top. Yeah, there's that one or two um, ceilings that need to be moved. And that's just about it. I, I can actually remove most of the stuff from the center here. They are held together by stone now. So yeah, that's the base. And after this year, in the next video, you're going to see me in the swamp. It's most likely going to either be <coughs> the bone mass boss fight or me traveling to the bone mass boss fight. One of the two will occur tomorrow. There is no way that I'm uh, going to change my plan for tomorrow. Bone mass is the plan for tomorrow. And as you can see, the fire is just below. So I've got heat, but I'm not on fire. And that is just perfect for me because this is like unbelievably awesome. Oh yeah, and as you can see I have ton of soup already so that is a big plus. I just need to do two things. I need to go back to the other base. I need to grab some uh, thistle and I need to continue on with uh, building up my potions. As you can see I have six poison resistance on me. I'm gonna need a few more, so I want to have a full stack of 10. I have 10 health potions, that's more than enough. And I have some extra resources in terms of food, wood, building materials, gold. I also need to find the trade-off. So I have a lot of things to do, so next episode is hopefully gonna be the end of bone mass. Then the episode after that should be me going to, um, the winter biomes and finishing off those fights so hopefully that won't take too long because there's a mountain right there and let me just show you my map this is one of the mountains that is the mountain then where is it? there's a mountain somewhere in here a moment There's a mountain somewhere up here. There's a mountain somewhere around here. 
So all of these areas will lead into future development for my base. And I'm suspecting that the trader will likely be somewhere here. I still haven't explored the lower section or this section of this island. I'm a little bit scared of going to the open sea alone. So I might drag someone like Havak with me on one of my adventures. See if he's willing to join me. It will be a rather collaboration but in my hardcore series. I don't mind having him come with me on a sea adventure. It, it, it's not practical to go on those adventures solo to be honest. And the simple reason is the sea is just a little bit too dangerous for you to uh, transverse solo. <coughs> And this thing is awesome. Now yeah, my room is still comfort level 9. Okay, so you've got a little bit of a breakdown on what I intend to do. <coughs> Now I need to go and get some resources. So let's build up whatever I need for the day. Let's have a look if there's anything in here. I have extra health potions. And I have my frost resistance um, potion in there. I had that built up and ready for me from a long time ago. Oh, wrong way. I'm still not 100% used to this base. And as you can see, it is basically brand new. I've had a lot of fun with it. It's uh, build up at this point. So wrong. Let's see, what do we have? I don't know what's frightening the pigs, they, they've been driving me nuts. Every few minutes they keep making that noise and there's nothing to scare them. So I don't know what's going on with them. Okay. Now oh, that's the elder. <coughs> no, I'm not going out in this area. I've been farming in this area for stone. I actually uh, farmed there because it was easier to get stone. I didn't realize how much of stone there is in the black forest. So yeah, I ended up farming a ton. I don't have a plan for Muda as yet, to be honest. So uh, Muda might be the first boss to actually beat me fair and square. Those two portals were unnamed and set at the same time, so they transport to each other. And I can't sit in these rooms for very long, otherwise I will die. I'll go for that in a second.
I really need to watch out for this room. a little bit. Core wood. Stag hammer is the next thing for me to try and build. I've plenty of sausages right now. Full oh, stack to be honest, yeah, that's good. That will be added to the food that I'm taking. So yeah, there we go. Nice solid trip ready for the swamp. So it's gonna be turnip soup, um, sausages and regular meat. So eating that actually gives me a ton of a boost and it allows me to run around in the swamp almost effortlessly. Yeah, the bonfire is doing exactly what I expect it to do. Give me this box off my entire base. So yeah, I, I know that this isn't... Um, 100% the best way to go about making these videos and giving some cool um, videos but nonetheless they, they, they're as good as I can get for now. Um, I, I'm not that good at these things and you know it, it takes some time to learn to be good at doing things like this here. Public speaking isn't one of the easiest skills so yeah. I'm really sorry for the poor quality in a lot of my videos. A lot of people have pointed it out how bad the quality is. Uh, and I know that the noise from the game with the pig screaming every few seconds is a bit uh, heavy. I don't understand why they're doing it. They shouldn't be screaming that much. I'm overburdened. I don't need regular wood. I have a lot of regular wood from pulling down the old base. And I'm going to need regular wood. Oh yeah, I, ca I can't travel around the outside at the moment thanks to this upgrade. Uh, everything is totally stone, so yeah, it's, it's a big burden. Okay, I got save. So yeah, I'm 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 with the material. I'm building myself a stair gamer. That's why I'm taking so much of resources. Need to up my combat class. So the stack hammer is going to replace my builder's hammer during my trips out to the swamp and that's the reason why I am doing that and I actually have to put in all of my torches in the base once they in they're going to make a massive difference to how things are flowing. Nah, I'm not making it in. So, drop. And drop. Mm. 
within the base I have way too much of uh, power so I doubt that it can keep me a burden for too long so let's see the stag hammer Are you kidding me? I need to break skeletal pieces to upgrade it. I did not know about that. But nonetheless, let's throw everything down in one of these chests. Obviously I need arrows as well. I've been burning through arrows like crazy recently. I need about 300 per run of the swamp, so those are the things that I need to focus on. Ah, there we go. Need more wood. So turn around, heat it up. I have to go up, I have to grab skeletal pieces, and yeah, this will allow me to move on. Nah, don't have what is needed for this at the moment. So, stack or two of wood should do it for me and then I must just use the uh, muddy to repair everything Whew. man this place is a little bit of a trip to move up and down I really enjoy the stone base to be honest. I, I feel it's very neat. It matches the type of base I wanted to have, so yeah, it's perfect. Now, what I've got to do is dump one, walk forward, pick it up, and head on into the room. What do I need on the upgrade for the stag hammer? The core wood, leather, scrap. So let's go straight to Upgrade one, upgrade two, and this is far as I can go. Next one is with the next upgrade of the station. So it's an AOE attack, which is at 
fantastic. Drop these. Oh no, I can't use them. Too bad. I've got a lot of wizard bombs. I'm pretty sure I upgraded this previously with uh, a tool station but I don't know where it is so I'm going to have to redo it and hopefully this time it sticks I don't know what happened to it to start with so yeah once that is done then this should be a very improved room to be honest Whew. So that's about the prep that I'm going to show you. There's a lot more prep to go into before I get into the actual fighting in the swamp. So catch you all in the next episode and have a good day. Remember to leave a like and subscribe to my videos. And comment on the video if you're feeling like it. And remember you can always go through my past videos and find the link to Habat who is an amazing content creator eternal echoes is amazing to say the least you can always catch him on his live stream he does incredible builds and you can see the amount of work that goes into building when you already have the resources so you can imagine what it's like doing things my haphazard way and just winging whatever you can in the moment so yeah, catch you all in the next one. Have a good day.